शवनाया बहुवीरजन लभ्य शृणंत बहव यं विदु आश्चर्य वक्ता कुशल शब्धा आश्चर्य ज्ञाता कुशलाशिष्ट शवणाया बहुवीरजन लभ्य शृणंत बहव यं विदु आश्चर्य वक्ता कुशल शब्धा आश्चर्य ज्ञाप्या कुशलाशिष्ट गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ दैट एक्चुअल बाई डिस्कसिंग इट इन एक्चुअल दैट एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ इफ यू आर डिस्कसिंग इट देन डेफिनेटली लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर देयर इन अस out uh, in uh, that they un uh, that that which is unwanted which is not at all necessary in hari bhajan they are actually thinking like that about absolute truth the shloka which i have already started with in the starting that shloka it is from kathopanishad here actually it is written here that that only that a prakrit sattva vastu that atma tattva vigyan that shreya katha that shreya katha just by hearing that shreya katha to hear that it is very difficult to find those real persons you are not at all finding those real persons at all but still if you can find some two four people who can hear this absolute katha if just by hearing all the about that absolute truth that uh, he cannot uh, get that ac- actual goal if you are getting two to four people and they have this desire to hear but after hearing also that they are not at all getting the final goal in their life they are not at all getting the realization and shreya vishay that top topmost tattva vid nipun bhakta that those who want to hear about that absolute truth and the very important point here is that uh, for shreya vishay that all those tattva vid and nipun vakta they are actually very rare you cannot find that who will be hearing about that absolute truth you will find it very rare and if by chance you will find that that even one or two persons you will find that kind of updesh type you are uh, taking a uh, find in your life but uh, like this kind of topmost speaker you cannot find like the kind of work of an acharya that kind of tattva vid purush like acharya in order to those who are actually doing the anugatya those kind of speakers they are more and more rare to find very very rare to find it is not at all possible to find them at all prabhupad actually speaking this prabhupad actually speaking here that uh, absolute truth that actual uh, discussion if you will be doing that then lot of people are there inside us that they will be thinking that it is not at all necessary to uh, understand and to discuss this all Prabhupada speaking that even if our attention is not at all there and I am not at all sincere in my work and I am actually uh, selfish and I am actually a coward person and only I am actually busy in my material sense organs just I am busy with the material sense organs it doesn't mean that uh, Acharya it doesn't mean that uh, that the actual absolute pravachan of the Acharya it is it is all useless it's not like that you can't speak like that at all it is not at all possible like that prabhupad speaking that we are actually tranadapi sunich we should be tranadapi sunich we should become tranadapi sunich completely and we just need to think ourselves more downward as the grass and we have to get more and more tolerant than the tree and more and more uh, for for humbler than the blade of grass we just need to we have to we have to hear about that absolute truth and i'll be speaking about that absolute truth like that iska shrota nahi hai 
the the speakers for this is not at all very rare and the people who want to hear that absolute truth is also very rare but still we will be speaking bhakti sidan saraswati go swami thakur prabhu speaking that this material world that whole material creation that i have already told you a lot of time before that this uh, transcendental world it is just a perverted reflection of the transcendental world this material world what you see is the perverted that the transcendental world it is just a perverted reflection of the transcendental world that's why that that's why it is just one kind of anchic independence that what is actually just kind of a perverted reflection what we can see reflection of the transcendental world we find of this material creation in this world that that kind of independent swarup or adhikar or eligibility which we are thinking or we are getting it is better that we that uh, we should get that transcendental absolute truth uh, in regard to that that topmost uh, topmost we just need to uh, depend 100% on that absolute truth only why because because when we will be 100% surrendered onto that absolute truth that 100% we are surrendered onto it then that is the actual independence what the actual use of the independence if we are actually 100% surrendered onto the absolute truth then that is the actual usefulness of the independence what you are getting that is the actual symptom that you are actually uh, using the using the advantage of your independence what you are getting that our work in gaudiya math the all those gaudiya devotees the our work is to to that aprakrit satya vastu transcendental aprakrit vastu this flag of transcendental flag we just need to we just need to put it and put it high in our hand whoever wants to come he can come otherwise he can go away we don't have anything to do at all the shlok which i have already started with in the starting that shloka this look i want started with iska karan kya hai what is the actual reason behind it the actual reason behind this is that that previous week that in brahm samhita the the actual shlok which i was discussing of brahm samhita pashyanti banti kalayanti chiram jaganti anand chinmay sadujjalo This shlok which I have already started with previous week, that Brahma Ji Maharaj, this Brahma, this shlok is actually getting realized by Brahma Ji Maharaj. It is the realization of Brahma Ji Maharaj what he is getting, that Bhagwan. That just in order to get the kripa of Bhagwan completely. after getting the complete grip of bhagwan this realization just came in front of brahma ji maharaj bhagwan ka kripa lava just by getting the grip of bhagwan this actually come this realization comes inside brahma ji maharaj himself he can yani yasso sakalendi vitti manti pashanti panti kalanti chiram jaganti anand chinmay raso anand chinmayo it means that what does it mean it means that that i am that same adipurush govind dev i am want to do worship that adipurush govind dev karta hu i always used to order uh, pay obeisance on to that adipurush govind dev whose vigra is chinmay and is sachidanand vigra his vigra is sachid anandmay so that a param ujjwal vigre his vigre is param ujjwal topmost uh, ujjwal and that same vigre tatva that that with bhagwan govind ji that uh, our transcendental material sense organs 
that uh, ba- bhagwan govind ji that aprakrit sense organs what govind ji is having this this each and every single multi, uh, transcendental sense organ of govind ji it can do the work of the other sense organs this is the actual transcendental uh, power of govind ji each and every uh, transcendental sense organ can do the work of other sense organs it means that each and every sense organ of govind ji it can do the work of uh, the other sense organ this is the actual capacity what govind ji is having and chid and achid this the chid and achid anant jagat he is maintaining maintaining creating and destroying the material world again and again this is the actual power of govind ji anjani jasya sakalendriya vittimanti pashyanti banti kalayant chiram jaganti anand chinma sadujjalo vigrahasya gobindamadi purusham tvam bhajami भक्तिनो ठाकुर स्पीकिंग दैट दिस बाय दिस श्लोका और दिस श्लोका बाय दिस श्लोका बाय दिस श्लोका ब्रह्मा जी हम लोग इज एक्चुअली इन साइड अस वॉट एवर काइंड ऑफ डाउट्स एंड फॉल्ट्स व्हिच वी आर फीलिंग अबाउट अपराकृत ट्रांसेंडेंटल absolute truth about that nitya vastu that whatever kind of doubts and uh, perceptions and questions which is all the time coming inside us that in order to answer it in order to answer it brahma ji maharaj has just uh, again speaking this shloka and just by realizing this shloka he is speaking आदि पुरुष गोविंद दैट for each and every part each and every single organ sense organ is having that power to do the work of the other sense organs so so by this bhagwan is actually sachid sachidanand vigrah this is uh, there and the actual uh, meaning behind this is that that uh, just by getting that transcendental sweetness that if this is one kind of abha for the transcendental sweetness in order to taste that transcendental rasa if there is one kind of uh, uh, a lack of uh, transcendental rasa then definitely those who are actually in this material rasa definitely they will be feeling some kind of doubt and question in uh, transcendental rasa regarding transcendental rasa lot of people they will be they will be thinking all mostly all the people thinks like that that krishna leela just by hearing krishna leela just by hearing krishna leela just by hearing krishna leela after that they are actually thinking that this material bhav what of this material world this material bhav is actually all imagination it is just uh, gang, gang, is distorted by the imaginary bhav and all those uh, rishi pandit they have just uh, uh, by that imaginary bhav they have uh, explained that krishna tattva they this is the actual question this is their actual doubt that infinity kind of questions and doubts what are arising inside a material person that is the actual uh, mat- uh, cause of their bondage in this material world because they cannot understand krishna tattva completely that is the actual cause of their anarth and material bondage what they are getting in this material life 
that kind of anarth in order to remove that anarth brahma ji maharaj has just speaking this shloka and the next shloka what he is speaking and in all the three shlokas all the three shlokas after that another three shlokas are there and by these three shlokas chid and achid that material world and transcendental world that kind of difference and speciality what it is there that in this material world what kind of uh, material enjoyment what it is there in this material world and all those wishes regarding relating to this material world are there this is chid and achid means of this material world and chid means of the transcendental world these two things are to- totally separate from each other in tatvik swarup if we will be discussing and seeing then uh, shuddha samatvik prap krishna leela which is transcendental in nature in order to understand that uh, brahma ji maharaj is actually giving us this kind of realization through this shloka in order to give us this kind of realization he has actually uh, made this kind of effort to so that we can understand the top most tattva krishna tattva by realization so this shlok and after that another three shloks are there another three shloks are coming after that when uh, we will be going ahead and uh, by this by this brahma ji maharaj is actually differentiating between chid and achid that transcendental and material that means parartha and in tatvik swarup in he is actually dividing it and that shuddha satvik krishna shuddha samadhi prapt krishna leela the transcendental krishna leela in order to understand for our understanding he is actually giving us that understanding brahma ji maharaj just by creating one difference between transcendental and material platform and just by taking the ashray of brahma ji maharaj brahma ji also has some kind of ashray na ashray tatva for brahma is also there what is that ashray for brahma the actual ashray of brahma what is that that brahma ji what he wants to speak what is the actual ashray of brahma ji that that krishna vigraha is sachidanand in sachida is sachidanand brahma ji maharaj the actual conclusion of brahma ji maharaj and this bhav and realization brahma ji is having that krishna vigraha is sachidanand that internal bhav of brahma ji maharaj is that that krishna vigraha is sachidanand mai it means transcendental and all those material Uh, creation is all inert brahma ji maharaj wants to speak that that brahma ji maharaj wants to speak that krishna vigraha is sachidanand and and this material creation and all the all the material creation of this material world is all inert and this in between this two kind of difference between these two that chid and achid in this chit then achit there is some difference some speciality and difference is there in this and having that kind of difference the actual difference when it is there still the actual mool tattva that actual mool tattva the actual mool tattva is that that jeev that jeev that chit vishay is the actual mool padarth actual object it ot- automatically transcendentalness is there in this all these jivas that to that adya gyan tat that which is sachidanand mai bhagwan is there brahma ji actually what is the actual meaning what brahma ji wants to speak that krishna vigra is sachidanand mai and all those material creation and prakriti is actually jad tamomai it is inert in nature full of raju and tamogun and jad material in between this material and transcendental the difference between that on the basis of the all between the material and the transcendental vishay still that mool tattva the actual conclusive mool tattva is that that transcendental uh, thing is the actual mool object is the actual object that transcendental object is the actual uh, major object that speciality and difference is there in between this material and transcendental objects vishesh or vichitra speciality and difference 
and diversity and difference it is def- naturally there uh, between the material and the transcendental world all the time it is there by that the actual chinmay dham of krishna ke chinmay swarup chinmay naam that guna leela everything actually all self manifested that uh, by shuddh chidd buddhi it is actually self manifested that shuddh shuddh chidd buddhi that uh, that it is free from the bondage and clutches of maya that uh, transcendental uh, vishay is free from completely free from material uh, bondage of prakriti and maya and what is actually related to maya it is actually totally free from that this leela in order to just taste that transcendental leela bhagwan we can understand that otherwise other people cannot find because they are under the clutches of material bondage other people cannot understand this at all that chit dham chit shakti it is self manifested in nature <coughs> and chintamani it is uh, uh, decorated with chintamani dham and that bhagwan and shri krishna vigra is all chinmay is transcendental in nature everything is transcendental in nature that chit shakti that actual sh- shadow swarup that is which is maya shakti uh, that in brahm samhita brahma ji mara speaking maybe you will you can find it later that chit dham chit shakti that kind of manifestation of chit shakti is self manifested in nature and all this kind of tattva will get and such and krishna vigra is all transcendental in nature that chit shakti the actual shadow of chit shakti the actual shadow of chit shakti that is maya shakti which is actually that the kind of difference and speciality what is there in between that that uh, it is just a perverted reflection of that chit shakti maya shakti i have already told you that so so chit tattva that chit tattva the actual uh, the actual uh, speciality of the chid chid tattva the actual uh, speciality of the chid tattva that kind of manifestation or the actual uh, shadow of that chid tattva is that maya, maya maya tattva what we find it it's just a shadow of that that uh, material shadow if that kind of difference of both the things if it is there that kind of difference of uh, between the maya tattva and uh, the transcendental tattva that is if it is not at all manifested still this people these people or these individual jivas they are all the time distorted they are all the time confused and having doubt about this tattva the material people this is actually the actual fault of this hetva of this material world the hetva of this material world that is the actual doubt that is creating the actual suspicion and doubt in us all the individual jeevas who are in the bonded condition hayat to means what do you mean by hayat like you are taking one sugar cane and after you are taking you are taking one sugar cane in your hand and you, you are just taking the juice out of that sugar cane of the of those pieces after making it into pieces you are just crushing it and making the juice out of it and the thing which you have to throw that that is called nirjas and when the ras the juice is getting out and the remaining left portion you just need to uh, re- throw that that is called hay ansh that is called hay ansh you just need to throw that uh, remaining uh, uh, form sublime form of that sugar cane so that chid tattva of that uh, so for that chit tattva that actual speciality and difference that is actual perverted reflection you can see in this uh, my mic jagat in this material world this all this material objects that kind of hayat what we can find 
the actual material uh, world that kind of hayatva that leftover sublime form of that material uh, transcendental world what we are finding it that is the actual doubt and suspicion of that material world that uh, the hayatva of that material uh, of that material world that is the actual uh, uh, fault of that material world but but in chit tattva that that kind of uh, doubts and suspicion is totally free it is totally free from that uh, doubts and suspicion that uh, the hayatva of that material world is the actual doubt of the fault and doubt of that material world but in the chit tattva transcendental tattva but in that transcendental tattva there is so much kind of speciality that hayatva of that uh, the hayatva the hayatva of this material world it it is actually that is the actual doubt of the material world but in the chit tattva you see that same kind of doubt and suspicion what it is creating that is the actual usefulness you will get out of that hayatva of that chit tattva that is the actual speciality is already there in that chit tattva that krishna atma and his body is non different from each other krishna's atma and his body transcendental body is non different from each other bonded jivas their body is different and their heart is different yet <coughs> atma is different that but for krishna his atma and his body is non different from each other it is not at all different it is all the same and all those material bonded jivas their atma and their body is different from each other that all those material bonded jivas their body and atma is actually different from each other but in chit swarup that their deha and dehi that ang angi that dharma dharmi there is no difference in that in the chit swarup in the in the on the transcendental platform the deha dehi there is no difference ang angi there is no difference and dharma dharmi there is no difference but that in material materially bonded condition and on the materially bonded jivas this all these defects are uh, naturally there in them krishna angi that krishna is not one kind of part and parcel of something krishna is not anchi krishna is angi that krishna is not some uh, part of something like krishna swayam avatari is swayam avatari he is not at all avatar he is swayam avatari so krishna if he is angi also this uh, each and every organ of 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 krishna is krishna himself this you understand what i'm speaking krishna that krishna you are thinking that he is angi but still krishna is angi he is sachidanand swarup he is having sachidanand vigra but each and every organ of uh, sense organ of krishna and each and every part of krishna is everything complete is complete krishna you can't understand what i'm speaking krishna is uh, angi but still each and every organ of krishna that is complete krishna only it means that in upanishad what i told you about in kathopanishad that krishna each and every sense organ of krishna that is complete krishna himself it is non different from krishna and each and every jeev each and every chit vritti it is already there in bhagwan in complete form it is already there in bhagwan in complete form in completeness in each and every sense organ it is already there in complete form so this krishna is there and that is that krishna is that akhand uh, sachidananda purna tattva absolute absolute tattva jivatma and krishna they are uh, actually both chit swarup <coughs> jivatma and uh, 
Krishna. They are actually both Chid Swarup. They are both Chid Swarup. So, qualitatively and qualitatively, it looks all the same. They are all the same, but still. But, but in what is the actual difference between them? What is the, the actual difference between them is that that uh, all those uh, chitgun, sw- chitgun swarup that the entire chitgun qualities of chid jagat that uh, whatever kind of uh, infinity qualities of the chid swarup in the jivatma swarup that in the swarup of jivatma what we can find In that Jivatma Swarup and Anroop, it is already there in that. What does it mean? That Jivatma and Krishna, they are actually having Chit Swarup. So qualitatively, it is all the same, but still there is some difference in that. But in that, there is one kind of difference. What is the difference? That all those Chit Gun, Samuhu, that Jivatma Swarup, which it is there in the form of Anroop, and in complete, in Vibhu Swarup, it is actually there in Krishna. <coughs> infinitesimally small that kind of uh, qualities are there in Jivatma and in Brahad and uh, Virup in uh, topmost form it is there in Krishna so so Jeev Jeeva, in Jivatma Swarup and in Vibhu Swarup it is there in Krishna and in Anu Swarup it is there in Jivatma. Jivas actually having that Shuddh after getting their Shuddh Chit Swarup after getting their when bhaj, Jivas are doing Bhajan slowly steadily all those Jivas they are getting that Shuddh Chit Swarup they are getting that after that that the same kind of that kind of uh, qualities in the form of anurup you can get that in very infinitesimally small portion you can get when they are doing hari bhajan gradual that by krishna kripa only that slowly gradual promotional procedure that chid haladini that bhakti what we are speaking here that haladini samvit samvit sar that krishna kripa just by taking Krishna Kripa, Chid Haladini, well, that actual power of Haladini, when it is getting manifested, that in Jivas also, that inside Jivas also, that kind of topmost transcendental Anand you can find, means that uh, there is one place they got onto that transcendental Anand, that by the help of that Haladini power. That Samand means that relationship, but it is not at all possible uh, that kind of same power you can get equivalent to Bhagwan. But still, that kind of Chid Haladini power that when, when it is getting manifested in the Swarup of the bonded Jeevas, the Jeevas are also uh, feeling that transcendental rasa inside them and they are getting that transcendental Anand inside them. It means that in onto the lotus feet of Anand Dev, they are actually feeling that transcendental rasa. But still, <coughs> but, but because of special qualities, different different special qualities, Krishna is the topmost sarv upasya vastu. That chid haladini swarup, it is actually getting manifested inside the jivas. But still, jivas are actually getting that transcendental uh, rasa and transcendental enjoyment out of that. But means they are getting the actual uh, uh, surrender onto the latest feet of Baldauji Anantadev. Just after getting that. That sum, it is actually getting Siddhi in that. But still, 
in some some uh, different different uh, qualities that is krishna is the sarv upasya vastu he is the only worshipable object krishna and this is on this special topic and on this special discussion in order to get the more uh, deeper discussion on that <coughs> that in purusha avatar it is it is not at all getting manifested in purusha avatar that same kind of uh, same special quality what is there in krishna that that's why because krishna is becoming so much uh, full of prema for everyone so this param brahm adi purush is actually different and in that in that purush avatar it is not at all possible that you can find that special qualities what they what is there in krishna that is the actual special characteristics and special quality that in purush avatar it is getting manifested in that manifested form but you cannot find that in that purush avatar but only in krishna this kind of special quality is there in all the demigods also you cannot find that that in brahma ji maharaj who so ever is there shankar brahma and all other demigods also this kind of qualities you cannot find but uh, so much kind of uh, <coughs> uh, so much kind of disadvantage we need to take so, i am not at all talking about jeevas at all what to speak about jeevas normal jeevas what i can speak about jeevas so this angyani jashu shukalendra vritti manti pashanti panti kalayanti chiran jaganti ananda chinmayo sadunchala vigraha shukavindu adi kusham to mamba ye jo shlok hai do this shlok of what i am speaking in that shloka it is openly written here and that bhagwan that bhagwan that shri ang that that is sachidanand that is transcendental and all those sense organs of bhagwan it can do the work of other sense organs all the sense organs of bhagwan it can do the work of all the other sense organs and each and every particular sense organ they have that eligibility and power to do the work of other sense organs which is not at all possible and impossible for all the material jeevas but still it is possible for bhagwan ashanti pan kalayanti chiram jaganti anand chinmay raso sadujjala vigrahasya anand chinmay आनंद चिन्मय आनंद चिन्मय सदुज्जल रस सदुज्जल विग्रह गोविंद आदि पुरुषम आई बस समझ यू अंडरस्टैंड द पॉइंट व्हाट आई एम स्पीकिंग if i am not at all discussing all this then hum log ko we can samajh mein we cannot understand we cannot understand what is the actual tatva nahi aata we cannot understand the actual tatva that is very much important to understand the actual tatva about that absolute so, truth absolute tatva so is shloko ke dwara by all these shlokas it is actually getting uh, <coughs> manifested by these shlokas it is actually getting manifested by all these shlokas that krishna's dham is chinmay and his swarup is chinmay and his naam gun roop leela everything is chinmay bhagwan's everything is transcendental in nature name form leela everything and all those material there is no material conception at all no material conception can stand in the way of the transcendental question transcendental <coughs> that should <coughs> it is actually free from material bondage that transcendental chit swarup that uh, it is has no if some person is there who is having no relationship with maya for them also that kind of uh, in order to get that leela taste for that leela leela the only for them it is possible to get that taste for leela otherwise for other people bonded condition bonded condition material jeevas it is not all possible but 
and Chintamani Leela Peet of that Krishna Vigrah and everything of Krishna relating to Krishna is all Chinmay and by that Chid Shakti is actually the shadow Swarup of Chid Shakti is Maya Shakti and uh, Maya Shakti and Maya Shakti that <coughs> That I have already told you previously. It's very difficult to again just speak this all in front of you. So just by getting the Krishna Kripa, so just by taking the Krishna Kripa, that Chid Haladini, that kind of Haladini Swarup power, what the what the Jivas are getting, and the Jivas are getting into the deep ocean of the transcendental ocean of uh, uh, Chid Chid Swarup. <coughs> and they are enjoying that transcendency but it looks like it is all the same but it is not at all possible because in anu swarup it is there in jivas it looks by achintya bheda ved shakti you can find that it is all the same we can just decide this point that maybe transcendental rasa or the special qualities can be there in individual material jivas but still Jivas, after doing uh, uh, just by getting gradual promotional procedural, when they are getting that Krishna Kripa, slowly, steadily, when they are getting that, the Jivas are <coughs> that Haladini power is getting manifested inside their heart. Then only Jivas, slowly, steadily, when they are actually doing bhajan, that for all those Jivas, also that kind of transcendental Anand, they are getting that. Means that it qualitatively it is still some by speaking some it means that qualitatively it is all the same, but there is no kind of any material conception and material relationship exist there. By speaking some it means that to having onto the lotus feet of Krishna that full uh, he is getting surrendered onto the lotus feet of Krishna and Guru Vaishnav and there is no difference available and no dif maybe a difference is there that is called some some means there seems to be a difference but there is no difference at all. Like uh, one example I will give you regarding this, like Ganga water is actually transcendental in nature, it is Chinmay. The water of Ganga is Chinmay and transcendental in nature and by the water of Ganga before that, that I have taken, I have taken a very small drop from the Ganga water in a very small pot, I have taken one water into the, uh, <coughs> from that Ganga stream and if I am taking that small water, <coughs> that Ganga water and the normal water will become one with each other and about that they will be speaking that this is Ganga only. Like the same case by, by this estimation, by the same case, but still no one, some people, some special qualities of Krishna, Krishna is the actual Sarv Upasya Vastu, is the topmost worshipable object. This actually special uh, quality Leela Madhuri, Gun Madhuri, Venu Madhuri, all these different different qualities, special qualities are only okay, you can find in Krishna. Apart from that, you cannot find in anyone else, not even in Narayan and all other demigods also. That's why different different special qualities. <coughs> and uh, that special amazing qualities that uh, he is the actual worshipable object of all the worshipable objects that Krishna is there and that kind of special worship uh, special qualities that kind of Parambram Adipati Narayan also you cannot find that or maybe other Purush avatar it is also not uh, possible to find that in them but uh, Girish and etc all those demigods also what to speak of them <laughs> it is not at all possible to find on this demigods also you cannot find those qualities jivas are actually very far distant from that thing they can't even find that that jivas they have they can't uh, discuss about that we cannot speak about that at all because it is not at all possible to get at all it is not at all uh, good to speak about that also because it's not at all possible for jivas to attain this stage so that's why brahmani maharaj that speaking Brahma ji also actually which has realized this shloka and after realizing this shloka he is actually speaking in front of us by that shloka only by these shlokas only 
that uh, the transcendental world and this material world the actual difference between that and the speciality what is there in that it is actually just getting open in front of us that transcendental and material it looks like one and the same but it is not like that there is some speciality and difference between that and after that in the 23 23rd number shlok that of brahm samhita it is actually written there वेरी स्पेशल श्लोक इट इज द वेदास इट इज एक्चुअल अगम्य ऑफ ऑल द वेदास मे बी भगवान एक्चुअली इज कम्प्लीट some mahapurush under the guidance of a mahapurush if we are actually staying then definitely vedas are ultimately will show us that absolute complete tatva the actual <coughs> the, the actual duty of vedas the actual duty of vedas is to show us that you see the actual complete absolute truth absolute tatva so about vedas that shri larup goswami pad actually has written regarding the vedas दिस ऑलरेडी रिटर्न बाय रूप गोस्वामी पाद the actual it is actual agam of all the vedas all over big big pandit they are, they are actually doing meditation focus and do speaking stuti part everything they are doing but bhagwan actually is very far distant from all this bhagwan is very far distant from all these things that vedas the actual agam of all the vedas but still that shuddh atma by only shuddh atma bhakti it is actually it is actually can be sung by that that vedas just by doing the anusandan of vedas when you are just reading the all the vedas but still by reading vedas bhagwan is not at all possible to get at all when the actual agamya of all the vedas but that should by only should the atma bhakti only it bhagwan you can get and apart from that there is no other uh, way out that's that same adipurish govinda i am actually worshiping because bhagwan actually <coughs> is actually advait that there is no dual conception at all in that it is one and the same and dwai means there is no dual conception adday adday gyan tatva bhagwan is advait and bhagwan is achyut and bhagwan is anadi and bhagwan is anant swarup and is adya he is puran purush adya means that is the most old and ancient of all of all but still he is actually just like in a very tra- beautiful uh, shamal swarup he is actually uh, transcendently existing in golok dham all the time and is doing the transcendental leelas in transcendental golok still he is actually very old which has no beginning and starting adyam purana purusham navajovanancho vedesu durlabham adurlabham atma bhaktu so adhyay means that adhyay kanta that is akhand tatva 
यू कैन नॉट जस्ट कट इट एंड स्प्रेड इट बट स्टिल दैट इन्फिनिटी वैचित्र एंड इन्फिनिटी स्पेशलिटी एंड क्वालिटीज आर देयर सो इट इज एक्चुअली वेरी अमेज टू थिंक ऑफ ऑल दिस दैट अद्वैत मीन्स दैट अद्य ज्ञान तत्व अनंत that ananta brahma swarup just it is there but still after having that ananta swarup that adya gyan tatva he is akhand tatva but still by having that akhand adya gyan tatva that anant infinity uh, brahma swarup just by getting into that ananta swarup also that in anch swarup also that in parmatma swarup ishwar that same bhagwan it is actually coming from that same bhagwan that akhandata or that akhand tatva is remaining all the same in the previous shloka i have already spoken that same thing that from the isha upanishad it is written there in that shloka purna sapurna madayo purna meva avashishyate purna ka ek definition that <coughs> purna means complete tatva that if you are taking from uh, complete something complete you are taking out it will remain complete it, with material conception you cannot understand this concept at all it is not at all because material conception won't stand here that in ansh swarup in parts and in prabha swarup that infinity uh, glorification of that brahm prabha swarup bhagwan can exist and in anant brahm swarup just uh, getting manifested in that swarup and in that part and parcel swarup he can also get manifest but still bhagwan and ishwar is actually ishwar coming from that same bhagwan but still that bhagwan is the uh, akhand tatva is complete tatva that in saranch swarup that uh, infinity avatars are actually coming in saranch swarup of from bhagwan only but still bhagwan will remain that complete tatva only that infinity avatar in the saranch swarup that millions and millions of avatar infinity avatar can come from that same bhagwan that adya gyan tatva that uh, uh, sachidanand vigre it is coming from that uh, but still coming from out from that you it is actually complete tatva you have an understand i will speak it again that adya gyan tatva what it is there that from that same adya gyan tatva that saranch swarup that uh, infinity avatars are coming from that sachidananda vigraha adhyayan tatva akhand tatva e ananta brahma prabha that infinity brahma prabha that infinity brahma effulgences are coming from the dead out of that uh, same vigraha sachidananda vigraha that in ansh swarup actually is there in the form of ishwar but still that uh, uh akhand tatva will remain complete tatva only it will not get incomplete it means that in saran swarup that millions and millions of avatars are actually getting manifested but still this uh, after getting that um, millions of avatar but that sits same uh, anant that is anant infinity jivas are also actually coming from that same uh, akhand tatva but still that akhand tatva will remain complete it will not get incomplete that bhagwan will remain parampurna in that it it is topmost uh, topmost absolute completeness will be there in bhagwan and that uh, what is actual speciality of this bhagwan it is that that janmadi leela actually is getting in after manifesting that also that bhagwan actually is uh, actually compared as anadi but maybe is actually taking uh, this uh, all those jivas are taking birth how you can speak that the jivas are anadi but for bhagwan it is not at all applicable bhagwan actually taking birth on this material world for his in order to manifest his leela but he is actually janmadi he is he is uh, he is beyond this conception of uh, uh, birth that kind of anadi bhav that bhagwan actually is there in that self manifested form of anadi there is actually no fault in that that janmadi leela in order to manifest that that bhagwan is actually anadi all the time and in that uh, uh, manifestation of that leela and when it is getting appeared after that uh, uh, leela is after the appeared leela becomes disappeared bhagwan that actually it is become anant and it is nitya all the time it is not at all destroyed he is anadi but still bhagwan is by his own will power he is actually taking birth and he is discover, discovering this kind of birth leela in the appeared and the disappeared leela and may the actual difference is that maybe he is sanatan purush but <coughs> he is sanatan purush he is sanatan purush but still this nitto 
he is it means all the time he is actually sanatan he just looks like a 16 years old boy very nice and young uh, 16 years old boy he looks like that the actual mool conclusive tatva whatever all things i have already things i have already told the actual conclusive portion of all this thing what i have already spoken is that that whatever things i have already told the actually conclusive portion of that is that 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 all kind of uh, infinite i have already told that and bhagwan is anadi anand but still actually all karm karma adi actually is coming from bhagwan only so bhagwan is actually anant swarup but still he is actually just like a human body he is actually taking a birth leela and just like a small kid he is actually coming in front of us and ex- manifesting his leela so all this kind of against tat what is coming it is all actually against qualities against the qualities of what actually is citing of bhagwan that it is only and only possible in complete form in govind who is that advai gyan tat akhand tat there is kind of contradictory poli- policy uh, contradictory qualities all the time it is actually all together there can be there in that uh, govind adi purush the actual conclusive part is that bhagwan actually whatever against qualities whatever are there but still those against qualities that controversial qualities that uh, achint shakti by the actual achint shakti of bhagwan it is actually all proper adjustment is taking that and it is getting all proper adjustment by that that is called chit dharma and means it is called jad vishesh that jad jad vilakshan vishesh dharma and uh, his very beautiful flute and his tribhang swarup all the time it is navyavanam cha navyavanam cha means it is all full of navyavanam and it doesn't come in uh, maya at all and what kind of desh kal time place all kind of things what is there of time factor in maya and material factor related to this material world whatever kind of uh, time and uh, and whatever time space and matter related to material world it is actually bhagwan is away from all this uh, tattva because bhagwan is on transcendental platform because it totally different and totally it is not like that that inside there is some kind of dosh or we can just completely remove that it means that hayatir atit means hayat varjit means that haya means that which is there is nothing uh, bad in that everything is absolute so sham sandhi murli dhar tribhang sundar that transcendental sachidanand vigrah is actually decorated with navyavanam cha that with nav yavan it is actually decorated and what kind of time space and matter you can find in material maya whatever uh, gaping is there in this material space time and space matter and what kind of smell is there of material maya but in a prakriti jagat transcendental world this kind of space time matter space time whatever is there is actually all transcendental in nature that present past and future only and only that in that nitya vartaman that transcendental world is all the time present there there is no comparison of this material time space and matter with that transcendental uh, time space and matter time space there are three dimensions in this material world length breadth and height is only three dimensions we can find in this material world and our eyes our material sense organs all actually comes into this three dimensions only it is actually uh, encrypted in these three dimensions and we cannot even think of that that three dimension apart from three dimension also some four dimension fifth dimension can also be there we cannot understand that we cannot imagine also that why how we can imagine that because we don't have that kind of experience so so in this material world that time space some gaping of material maya we can find that in this material time and space some gaping is there of maya we can find that but in the transcendental world that hayatva there is no incompleteness at all that present past and future is that in the transcendental world that shuddh nitya vartaman swarup what is there of the transcendental world that same 
that is actually top most amazing vishay how it can be possible but still it is possible that present past and future it is in that shuddha vartaman swarup that all the time it is there in that transcendental world present and in a prakrit transcendental world dharma dharmi bhed abhed धर्म धर्मी डिफरेंस और मे बी अंग अंगी सम डिफरेंस इज देयर और सम अदर काइंड ऑफ डिफरेंसेस और नॉन डिफरेंस आर देयर ऑल एक्चुअली इट इज नॉट एट ऑल देयर इन द ट्रांसेंडेंटल वर्ल्ड व्हाट वी फाइंड इन दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड सो व्हाट एवर सो व्हाट एवर धर्म वी कैन फाइंड इन दिस मटेरियल टाइम स्पेस एंड मैटर वी कैन फाइंड इट इज नॉट दैट कंसेप्ट इज नॉट एट ऑल एक्सेप्टेड एंड एप्लीकेबल इन दैट ट्रांसेंडेंटल वर्ल्ड what we are actually thinking that of this material time and space in this material matter of maya on this material platform it is actually just having into our uh, mind and intelligence which is made of uh, subtle uh, which is of our fine form there but that kind of transcendental time and space on the in that transcendental world it is uh, totally opposite what we find in this material world and we are finding it very tasteful and with full proper adjustment we are finding it very tasteful it is already manifested there in that that in aviruddh bhav in the chit jagat that upadesh swarup it is actually manifested there in that so like this so like this that abhut parv shuddha jeeva how he can understand and uh, realize this point no like this that uh, the jeevas how he can uh, realize this uh, aprakrit tattva that which is not at all uh, inside his realization power and he can't even having that experience in his material bank that maik gyan vritti of the material jeevas it is out of that this uh, it is actually this intellect mind intelligence everything of this material world and whatever material jeevas are getting everything is of this material it is all inert and material in nature it is all material maik in nature so how it's possible for all the jeevas to get that um, uh, transcendental experience and transcendental rasa in this material ba- bank of experiences that it is actually this material uh, bank in experience is actually bounded by all the uh, faults and doubts of time and space of this material matter and this and uh, jeevas are actually unable to uh, quit that uh, maik uh, gyan vritti and maik bhav what they are having that it is actually governed by the doubts and faults of that time and space of this material world so they are actually unable to get out of this uh, uh, material aura of and material bhav and if that gyan vritti if that gyan vritti of the jeevas it is actually getting transformed into transcendentalness or chidd if our gyan vritti if our gyan vritti or the if our gyan vritti is getting converted into chidd swarup chidd bhav if our gyan vritti if our gyan vritti which is actually getting that chidd uh, it is not at all uh, possible to get that chidd chidd transcendental swarup but how then it is possible that, that we can get the transcendental uh, realization that our gyan vritti that kind of uh, eligibility is not at all there to get that transcendental experience in our life then how it is possible that which kind of vritti that kind of shuddh transcendental uh, who is actually able to uh, get that realization the actual answer regarding this is that brahma ji speaking in regarding to this answer brahma ji maharaj speaking that chit vipar that uh, that is the actual agamya of all the vedas the uh, final indication of jeevas is actually indicating towards krishna only but still there is also one thing in the bhagavatam in the vedas in the gita like bhagwan actually speaking in gita that in all the vedas the actual ultimate cause is me only but with that in bhagavatam also it is actually written there in bhagavatam that vedas are actually a purusha vastu object they are a purusha object but still but but so 
वेद इन इन एब्सोल्यूट स्वरूप दे आर एक्चुअली अपरुष्य वस्तु अपरुष्य ऑब्जेक्ट ब्रह्मा जी महाराज स्पीकिंग दैट चिद व्यापार इट इज दैट एक्चुअल बिजनेस ऑफ चिद जगत वॉट एवर लीला एंड आनंद एंजॉयमेंट ऑफ दैट चिद जगत ब्रह्मा जी महाराज स्पीकिंग दैट चिद बिजनेस इट इज द एक्चुअल अगम्य ऑफ ऑल द वेदर्स इट इज एक्चुअली शब्द मूलक These four types. Para, it is a four types. Para. In a very fine form, it is there in para and pashanti. Madhama, vaykri, matlab. Madhama and vaykri. Vaykri means in the form of words. All these tattva are actually present there like that. Pani. Pani ni has just told this regarding this. Patanjali also. Patanjali Rishi has also told lot of things regarding this. How possible this all words are actually getting inside us, and each and every word are getting that meaning inside us, and by how that word actually getting the meaning inside us, and some by speaking some word that all the time one all once that just by speaking the word once that each and each and each syllable what we are speaking by of that particular word like like garam we are speaking. garam like this we are speaking garam means in english it's hot so panini so that panini has this kind of topmost gyanvitik vichar that if we are speaking garam means hot garam just by speaking garam by speaking ga ga has already got vanished and after i speaking ra ra already vanished after that and after speaking ma Ma already actually getting when he start to speaking ma. So when how actually we are speaking that all together the word will get the meaning. There is also one mystery regarding this. So so Veda is actually shabd mulak. That prakriti mulak there shabd mulak and in the vyakaran also. In vyakaran also it is written no. Prakriti and mul. What is that? That root. Whatever is there. तो सब सब दिस एक्चुअल वर्ड इज एक्चुअली प्रकृति मूलक एंड वेदास आर इन साक्षात स्वरूप एंड वेदास इन सेल्फ मैनिफेस्ट इन साक्षात स्वरूप दैट ट्रांसेंडेंटल इट कैन जस्ट शो दैट ट्रांसेंडेंटल वर्ल्ड एंड ट्रांसेंडेंटल स्वरूप ऑफ भगवान वेदास हैव दैट एलिजिबिलिटी टू शो अस शक्ति भावी तो होता है एंड वेदास व्हेन एक्चुअली गेटिंग द चिद शक्ति व्हेन वेदास आर गेटिंग द एक्चुअल पावर ऑफ द चिद शक्ति इज एक्चुअली गेटिंग मैनिफेस्टेड इन द वेदास एट दैट टाइम चिद शक्ति भावी तो होता है व्हेन द वेदास आर गेटिंग मैनिफेस्टेड विद चिद शक्ति चिद शक्ति भावी तो होता है तब एट दैट टाइम और इन दिस विषय Or in this vishe, he can just get onto that platform. Vedas, when he is getting chidd shakti vibhavit, he is getting that. At that time, in this vishe, we can just speak about that. But, but jivas, that is chidd shakti haladni sar haladni power by the actual prabhav of that haladni power inside the jivas. that he can get the actual uh, transcendentalness of that golok inside him vedas when he is getting the chid when he is getting manifested by chid shakti then in whatever transcendental vishay he can speak about that with that power something vedas can speak about that but when the jivas are getting jivas having this kind of qualities that jivas when they are actually getting uh, the actual haladini power inside them by that haladini power when it is getting manifested inside some jiva by that actual manifestation of that haladini power power jivas can just get the transcendental gyan inside them and inside jivas that bhakti bhakti is getting uh, they are getting the possibility of bhakti to get uh, manifested inside their heart jive swarup hai krishna to bhakto aisa kabhi nahi it is often not speaking like that that the actual swarup of jivas is actually the nitya das of krishna and in order to serve bhagwan that is actually good for the all the jivas but he is not at all doing that the actual swarup of jivas that he is nitya krishna das the actual swarup of jivas there it is not speaking that is nitya krishna bhakt it's not written like that he is nitya das of krishna but he is not doing bhakti at now so that's why he is not understanding 
सो इन साइड जीवास दिस काइंड ऑफ टॉप मोस्ट तटस्था शक्ति जीवास दैट ऑल दोस तटस्था शक्ति जीवास इन साइड देम देर इज एक्चुअली वेरी नाइस मैजिक इन साइड दैट वेरी वेरी अमेज टू सी इफ बाय द कृपा ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव इन साइड देम दैट स्वरूप शक्ति ऑफ भगवान इट दैट वृत्ति ऑफ स्वरूप शक्ति इज गेटिंग दैट ही कैन गेट द कृपा ऑफ भक्ति देवी इन साइड देयर हार्ट एट दैट बाय दैट भक्ति दैट एक्सप्लेनेशन इज एक्चुअली रिटर्न दैट खलादिनी शक्ति सार दैट समवित शक्ति एक्चुअली द एक्चुअल कंक्लूसिव पावर एंड कंक्लूसिव पार्ट ऑफ दैट हलादिनी एंड समवित समवित शक्ति एंड हलादिनी पावर इट इज द एक्चुअल कंक्लूसिव पोर्शन ऑफ दैट सो ओनली ईच वेर वॉट एवर जीव इज देयर For each, every, each and every jeev shakti that aladini sar samvit shakti, when it is getting the full kripa of that by that actual uh, realization of that shakti, that inside jeevas, that kind of bhakti is getting uh, in full fledged maturity. It is getting manifested. Then only the jeevas have that kind of option and opportunity. That that kind of bhakti vritti, they can get that kind of uh, transcendentalness, and the jeevas can get onto that transcendental platform automatically. and just by taking the support of haladini sar and samvit shakti just by taking the support of these both conclusive powers in that uh, that whatever kind of uh, bhakti vritti roop it is actually getting manifested in jeevas by that bhakti only that golok dham sapurti it is not at all impossible for jeevas to attain that at that time why because bhakti <coughs> that haladini vritti swarup That bhakti is haladini vritti. That actually is infinite, and this shud, that shud chit gyan mai, and this topmost pure gyan mai. That same transcendental pure gyan in the form of bhakti, that with full ekatma bhav. That same gyan with full. ekatma with when you are getting that ekatma bhav with bhakti it means then there is no kind of diff, no kind of separate gyan tatva we are actually manifesting and what kind of material gyan what we are having that kind already you have quitting that <coughs> and in bhakti it is actually getting discoverable by all those devotees By that chid 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 shakti. The actual straight point is that that same gyan, when gyan, when gyan, and bhakti, there is no difference between them at all. And I'll I'll be speaking in more turning way. When uh, bha, when gyan, there is no when is becoming topmost maturity. It is not at all. Uh, <coughs> it is not at all uh, half cooked it is completely cooked it is totally matured gyan then only it is the topmost matured gyan that is called at that time the gyan is called gyan and bhakti at that point there is no difference at all when gyan is getting into that topmost matured form and then gyan can be and then there is no difference between gyan and bhakti and in this situation only and in this situation only that with gyan and bhakti they are getting oneness with each other and there is no uh, kind of a difference uh, and different title is given apart from that and this is all the time they get all oneness they are getting with that and they can discover that golok tatva it is very difficult to understand what i am speaking i don't think that you must be understanding all this even if i am speaking i am very much you know uh, getting amazed that how i am speaking it but it is very difficult to understand so you can just rewind it rewind it and just speak i am speaking on my own so in each and every jeeva this is this kind of possibility can be there this possibility for each and every jeeva can be there because all these jeeva jeev goswami pad jeev goswami pad in the sandarbha actually speaking that jeev goswami pad in the sandarbha actually speaking very beautifully nicely jeev goswami pad in the sandarbha he is actually speaking very nicely in front of us jeev goswami pad sandarbha bataya je na jane ek aashcharya bhagwan that very kind of uh, topmost amazing prabhav of bhagwan is there that in priti sandarbha 65 अनुच्छेद इट इज रिटर्न बाय जीव गोस्वामी पाद लादिन्या एवो कापी सर्वानंदयाति शायनी वृत्तिर नित्यम 
भक्त बिंदीषु निक्षिप्पमान भगवत प्रत्याख्याया वर्तते अतः स्तदनु भवेन श्री भगवान उपी भगवत भक्तेषु प्रीति उति स्वयं भजत इति अतएव तत्सुखेन भक्तो भगवतः परस्परम आवेशम आहो क्या बताया शालादिन्य एव कापी सर्वानंदा पिशाइनी वृत्तिर नित्यम भक्तो वृंदेशु एव निखिपमाना भगवत वृत्तक्षयावर तति अतः स्तदनु हवेना श्री भगवान ओपी श्रीमद् भक्तिशु प्रति अति स्वयं भजतो इति अतएव तत् सुखेन भक्तो भगवतो परस्परम आवेशमाह अर्थात इट मींस दैट सेम हलादिनी वृत्ति दैट this same haladini vritti of bhagwan that about that in chaitanya charitamrit it is written that all the devotees that they are getting the topmost anand and getting nourishment that is only done by haladini shakti in chaitanya charitamrit also it is written regarding this that krishna das kaviraj goswami pad speaking understand the point what i am speaking so the actual point is that that all this sanskrit actually it is written here what does it mean actually it means that that haladini shakti which is there that same haladini shakti that is very special and amazing that very special and amazing that bhagwan's haladini which is there that same haladini there is very special and the topmost uh, that same sarvagni sahini vritti that all the time inside the heart of devotees that bhagwan is actually throwing that towards the devotees and it is just uh, that bhagwat vritti in the name of bhagwat vritti bhagwat priti in the name of bhagwat priti it is all the time transcendently present inside the heart of the devotees and it is all the time there in the heart of the devotees it means that uh, just by their uh, actual realization bhagwan that uh, for, to all the devotees also that kind of bhagwat priti he is uh, just uh, uh, equating and giving it to all the devotees and all the devotees are also actually sharing that same bhagwat priti with bhagwan it means that it's not only bhagwan but also devotees as well they are also just uh, realizing and tasting that transcendental rasa that kind of bhagwat priti that the devotees and bhagwan that whatever kind of uh, anand and relationship which they are sharing that actually just get the topmost anand inside them they are getting that that jeev ko swami pad also that shloka which i am speaking i have already told that that shloka just by just by the actual inner meaning of that shloka it means that that bhagwan that his haladini shakti vritti that that sarvanandi shaini vritti he is actually just distributing and throwing it towards devotees and all the time actually throwing towards the devotees and in this prasanga the actual visha is that that inside whose heart that haladini shakti is already getting manifested they are actually bhakt bhagavat they are already devotees they have become devotees like this kind of devotees inside their heart that from that haladini shakti vritti again if we are throwing they are actually no use of throwing that you just tell me brother what does it mean then it means that 
this what does this mean actually what does this mean we actually are not at all understanding this point that in devotees already bhakti is there but still why bhagwan actually throwing this haladini vritti again towards them the actual meaning of this ukti is that it can be conclusive in this point that bhagwan is that throwing his haladini shakti that vritti that in all the all the in the heart of all the individual jeevas is throwing that in the heart of all the individual jeevas bhagwan is throwing that haladini vritti inside the heart of everyone inside heart of everyone bhagwan is throwing that but that jeevas actually in their bonded conditions they cannot catch that at all and it is actually getting into raju and tamagun because of that haladini shakti cannot get inside them cannot manifest them inside them it is not at all possible for halalni to get inside them so that's why this is the case that's why bhagwan that's why bhagwan that's why shri bhagwan is actually bhagwan that's why bhagwan is actually just the messenger of haladini shakti they are he is actually sending it on this material planet so that we can get that haladini shakti manifest inside our heart that's why is all these shlokas are there so so that's why bhagwan that uh, his haladini shakti his messenger that all those devotees is actually sending on this material world in the form of messenger and all these devotees they are actually just manifesting and distributing that shastra pravachan kirtan hari katha he is actually giving inside the heart of all the bonded jeevas and all the bonded jeevas actually are uh, getting that attraction again towards bhagwan it means that the actual upadesh instruction of shastras they are actually explaining it to individual jeevas and they can understand what kind of attraction they can feel towards bhagwan that by by the form of hari katha and hari kirtan and they can so that they can feel attraction towards bhagwan and they are just uh, putting all the efforts towards this bonded jeevas so those who are bhagwat vimukh jeevas they are actually those who are bhagwat vimukh jeevas they are actually getting into this karma cycle all the time and uh, definitely that possibility can be there of that uh, to do karma material karma so in order to remove that the jadrich have already explained you this word as well that who is the top most independent bhag- bhagwan what he can do and what he will do we don't know understand so just by the krip of bhagwan only we can understand that what it is in actual so this uh, what is there inside the jeevas that kind of uh, that or they are actually getting the association of top most devotees inside their heart then definitely that haladini power is getting manifested inside their heart automatically and by that sanskar only by that same sanskar these these people in bhagavat katha they are getting shraddha into bhagavat katha all the time by that sanskar only that they are actually pr- uh, getting some shraddha for bhagavat katha and hari kirtan and uh, that that is the actual pravachan of bhagwan shri krishna what is that mat katha do ja to shuddhast jo apmanu no nirvinno nati shakto bhakti yoga sh siddhi do kya bata hai what it actually is written here mat katha do ja to shuddhast jo apmanu no nirvinno nati shakto bhakti yoga sh siddhi do it is actually written here like that ye bataya it is actually written here like that to so dhyan de is baat just be careful on this point what i am speaking that's why brahma ji ka brahma ji in that shloka having that top most deep deep meaning inside this very deep meaning is there inside is that yes tomorrow i will tell you that how this material world that how we why we are not actually not at all getting uh, transcendental uh, uh, success in our life and what is that transcendental time what do you mean by time and that transcendental time what do you mean by that about this i will be discussing about that uh, tomorrow today up till this point i will be just discussing that uh, 
दैट वेदास इन द फॉर्म वेदास विच इज एक्चुअली कमिंग इन द फॉर्म इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस दैट अप्राकृत गोलोक धाम इट कैन नॉट शो टू अस डायरेक्टली बट स्टिल दैट वेदास दैट वेन इट इज बिकमिंग चित शक्ति विभावित वेन वेदास आर गेटिंग विभावित बाई चित शक्ति ट्रांसीडेंटल शक्ति देन मे बी अ वेरी सम एग्जाम्पल दैट ट्रांसीडेंटल वन रे ऑफ ट्रांसीडेंटल सम इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग ट्रांसीडेंटल वर्ल्ड वी कैन गेट वाई बिकॉज इन साइड जीवाज बिकॉज इन साइड जीवाज दैट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पोजिशन दैट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पोजिशन ऑफ द जीवाज the inside the the actual jeevas inside their heart that chit shakti actual conclusive part of the haladini sar the actual manifestation of the haladini power inside the heart of the jeevas which can grow in the form of bhakti inside their heart by that only that golok that kind of manifestation of golok transcendental world can get inside the heart of the jeevas Jeevas that I have already done according to Jeevas, Jeev Goswami Path, Haladi Shakti, etc. It means that by the association of pure Guru Vishnu, if we can get the pure Kripa, full Kripa of pure Guru Vishnu, and he can go forward in bhakti, then after the bhakti is getting into full, complete, mature form, that all those Rasik devotees who is getting associated or getting relationship with that Rasik devotees, uh, they are getting the Kripa hundred percent from them, and that same bhakti vritti. What is that? That same bhakti vritti. This is uh, topmost, aladini shakti vritti. That is, it is shuddha chit chin gyan mai. That same gyan, in the form of bhakti, it is actually getting all together with that. That gyan, in in together with the bhakti, it is that it is not at all uh, putting a separate uh, uh, a constitution of his. only with the actual uh, in relationship with bhakti it is getting uh, uh, with that that gyan then that golok tatva can get manifested automatically before that it is not at all possible so up till this point i have just discussed these two shlokas first is this is actually all prakrit and aprakrit jagat what i have already been telling the actual difference between and speciality between prakrit and aprakrit jagat that whole world cannot understand about the transcendental world and material world that what is material world and transcendental world there is total misconception regarding that and they can't understand so that's why brahma ji maharaj actually speaking this shloka angyani jashu shakalandi vidyamanti prashanti panti kalayanti chiram jaganti anand chinmay sadajjana vikrasyo govindamadi purusham tamaham bajami ट्रांसेंडेंटल वर्ल्ड एंड मटीरियल वर्ल्ड वॉट इज द एक्चुअल स्पेशलिटी रिगार्डिंग दैट एंड डिफरेंस about that brahma ji maharaj actually speaking to us and uh, now the actual conclusion today has come that inside the heart of individual jeevas that material vichar is there inside their heart up till that point transcendental world they cannot understand about that it is impossible to get the inf- actual information about transcendental world and another another thing is there that that bhagwan in order to understand bhagwan that who he is that bhagavat tatva in order to understand that bhakti is the only ashray only and only ashray is bhakti and otherwise nothing is there by bhakti only that we can get the lotus feet of bhagwan in our life only by bhakti only we can get the lotus feet of bhagwan and apart from that there is no other process or pathway we cannot get that at all it is not at all possible at all tomorrow we will be discussing on this point more that actual transcendental time and material time this difference and speciality will be discussing and we'll be think uh, understanding that point and maybe by going forward there is another shlok regarding this that uh, that transcendental and material that speciality and difference what it is there brahma ji maharaj actually explaining that in the form of shlokas
I'll be just discussing that tomorrow. That Brahma Ji Maharaj has given the actual uh, understanding regarding this. So today, actually, I'll be just giving rest up till this point. Just forgive me for that. And this Maya Devi actually is just uh, behind us from last two months. Internet has so much problem that Maya Devi actually has just came in front behind us. That uh, anyhow, they, they, she will not allow to do seva of Bhagwan Bhakti. So whatever be the case, what to do? Shravana yapi bhavir jona labhya ha Sananta yopi bhavo yangna viduhu Aschadja bhav ashu bhakta kusala ashu labdha Aschadja gyata kusala anasishta ha Vancha kalpatrosha kipasindhubhacha Patitanan pavanibho vishnabhyo namo namo